come to the rink in gray flannel pants, green blazers, green and gold ties, our colors, and we have overcoats. I said, we start the journey. And I said, I'll set your goals for tonight. I said, we will not win tonight because we're not capable yet, but we will win, I can tell you. And I said, every guy has to commit to this. I said, I want from every player in this room five clean hits. And let me define what a hit is. It is measurable. The guy flies through the air and he hits the ice. Well, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? I feel badly, but I, I had to do something. All right? And I turned to them and I said, there'll be a piece of white tape behind the bench and your number will be up. And you will come off the ice when you get a hit and you will check your number. And when you get the five, you can stop. But if you enjoy it, you can be an overachiever. <laughs> They're all pumped up. I turned to the first kid. Dougie, my size 13. I said, son. I need a handshake. Can you do five? Oh, by the way, he's a Newfoundlander. Any Newfoundlanders here? Pretty passionate people. Doug Duell was his name. Went on to play for Boston Bruins in Phoenix. Huh? I turned to Dougie. I said, Dougie, can you do five? He jumps up and he goes, I can do ten, sir. And I'm so excited. I said, you're overachiever. And I get all, they're all shaking. I can do five. I can do five. I get to the captain. He goes, sir, I'm the smallest guy in the league. I said, I'll hit them, but they won't fall down. I can't do it. I said, Trevor. You have to take the C off. I said, you've committed to fail, and you haven't stepped on the ice. Go out there and fall down against, uh, fall on the ice. Hit them, and nobody falls, and I respect you. But you can't give up in the dressing room. I said, you have to do it. He says, sir, I'll do it. He says, I'll hit them, but I don't think they'll fall down. I said, Trevor, you'd be surprised. Hit them with passion. And I go to the next guy, next guy. I get to the goalie. Sir, can we, can we hit somebody, please? Can we? They're all excited. I go out, put the big piece of white tape up. Out we go, and we're skating, and we're skating hard. Remember, start of the game. Boy, I didn't tell you. I turned to Big Doug, and I said, Dougie, you start the game on right wing. He said, sir, I, I never started a game in my life. I said, well, you do tonight. And I said, you have a special goal. You have to hit the centerman within three seconds and send him right off his feet. I said, it's got to be clean, no penalty. Can you do it? He says, yes. Oh, he looks at me. He says, sir, my mom's going to get pretty excited. I said, why? Because I've never started a game before. So they're warming up and they're all skating on. Dougie's going to kill him. Dougie's going to kill him. Right? <laughs> Dougie's not warming up. He's standing at center ice on the hash marks on the right wing and he's rocking on his skates and he's looking into. And nothing better than an 11 year old, 10, 11 year old kid with clear cut goals and objectives. Because that makes us perform. That's what performance is about. They skate up. The poor Nats, they're going to go, no, they're going to kill us. They beat us 16 nothing. They skate up. The puck comes down. And as the puck's coming out, my whole bench is standing. They're looking because they know the execution is coming. Dougie comes off the wing, beautiful, lays a shoulder right in the chest. The guy flies out. He flies out of the circle. The bench cheers. Dougie swings around right to the bench, dives over the board. He's on six seconds. I think he hurt himself. I said, are you okay? He goes, yeah, where are the markers? Got the first one. <laughs>